Good morning, folks. An article discussing polar lows and oceanic circulation sparked memories from 2010 of a well-accepted human climate change prediction that Arctic storms would sharply decrease. Now, I'm all for alternative energy, banning fossil fuels, admitting that humans aren't helping the climate situation, but as you stare at this recent unusual Arctic cyclone, know that I firmly hold it's not just warming, it's all types of weather extremes. Humans are only a tiny fraction compared to an external causation, and when you dig past sensationalist propaganda, you find that many global warming predictions are failing, like this sharp increase in Arctic storms. We had a 6.1 in Indonesia this morning, heralding the quake watch to begin. Yet another deadly avalanche where historically it has been safe to venture. The Tungurahua volcano erupted in Ecuador last night. The Susquehanna nuke plant was unexpectedly shut down. Tropical cyclone Evan pounding Fiji, having moved on from Samoa and heading towards New Zealand. Going to keep watch on the hopefully weakening storm. Had a new gamma burst last night from way, way down south. The coronal hole stream may be arriving as solar wind speed has joined the density's five-day elevation status. The magnetosphere is finally showing weakness and reactivity to that solar wind. Inductions jumped from multi-frequency to baseline, rising up on the right. Inching closer to instability as the ovation prime does show auroral activity. Departing spots have been very active, and if these are, they may surge the magnetic connection to Earth and cause polar radiation. And we do expect flaring as the uptick is slight, but on time for the flare watch to kick in tonight. Our top contender is this for flares. Now just watch the back spots. They are splitting. Once clearly defined umbra, we now have all three sunspots in this group doing a magnetic roulette. We're going to have to watch this more than my once a day updates. Almost looks like an equilateral triangle, doesn't it? By the way, a similarly scary active region is only a few more days away. No Earth-facing eruptions, but we do have those active regions, some thin dark plasma filaments, and another coronal hole up north there on the left, turning this way. As always, there is more weather info at the end. Earthquake and flare watch beginning. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.